The CIHR Canadian HIV Trials Network is a network of people dedicated to finding preventions, treatments, and a cure for HIV. It's a broad network spread out across Canada, made up of clinical investigators, physicians, nurses, and people living with HIV and AIDS. Together we manage innovative clinical trials, we support researchers, and we make sure that each trial meets high scientific and ethical standards. For over 20 years, the CTN has brought scientific breakthroughs to the field of HIV. And the way we've involved community has become a model for others to follow. I think early on the CTN was mostly focused on uh, drug development, working with industry. And uh, so in the early days of the epidemic, helping to develop the early drugs and the cocktails and so on. Uh, what's shifted since then is that we have increasingly moved towards studies that are sort of in the public interest, how to use our medications in the best way possible. Now, most recently, we have shifted again towards increasing attention to vulnerable populations and to prevention. And there's a whole uh, opportunity of doing trials of different types of interventions, both in the developed world in Canada and also in the developing world. Having been here in Montreal with a, with a network, there's a lot that I can learn. But the one thing that strikes me is the ability by professionals to contribute their time, to volunteer their time, to come and review protocols, support upcoming scientists, support fellow scientists to develop very good proposals, proposals that are ethically sound, proposals that are feasible, proposals that are aiming for efficiencies. That is what I want to take home. If we could have something similar of that nature, I believe that CTN would have contributed to developing you know, a network in Zambia of scientists who are willing to come up with the best protocols, contribute their time to de developing good research proposals, and support upcoming scientists. I'm doing a study with Aboriginal women living with HIV and I'll be looking at stress biomarkers so my hope is to connect social sciences with basic science. I actually find the CTN conferences and the, the CAR conference really helpful because they bring the community and the scientists together so you get a much better um, understanding and also there were some things I simply didn't know which come up only by having community members being in the audience speaking up there um, which is HIV is really a unique field for that to happen we don't really get that in any other branch of science or so if I would go to a conference it would be basic science but here I feel like there's much more of a interaction between people who actually know what's going on, what's happening to them and the scientists so that they can actually talk to each other and something can get done. Basically we have the same say as the scientific review committee which is extremely important to us for the community. It gives a different perspective that the scientists sometimes don't see. For HIV we now have over 25 drugs and you can't say that for any uh, other disease. 25 drugs in less than 30 years is quite amazing and that's partly because we've been involved in clinical trials and if we had been less involved all of this would have been backward we would have, might not be in the era of heart yet so it's very important